It is no surprise that at this point, Crash Bandicoot is my most desired character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I decided to come up with a little moveset for him. And a stage, and spirit battles, and music selection. Basically, this is what if Crash Bandicoot was in Smash. For Crash's neutral special, he would perform his classic tornado spin, a fast spin attack that launches foes. It functions similarly to Incineroar's Darkest Laria, but lasts a little bit longer, maybe something closer to Luigi's Cyclone. His side special would be the Fruit Bazooka, a projectile attack that functions similarly to Banjo's neutral special. However, this can be charged, and the longer the button is held, the farther the fruit is shot. Keep in mind, Crash cannot move while using the special. Crash's up special will be a jump crate. Crash bounces off a jump crate, which sends him high in the air. The crate then falls below and immediately shatters whenever it touches the ground, so you will take damage if you are caught under this box. Similar to characters like Sonic, Banjo, and Mega Man, this doesn't push Crash into freefall, and he can attack after usage. Now for his down special. This is where his gimmick comes in, because every DLC fighter has to have a fucking gimmick at this point. So, for Crash's down special, he briefly guards himself from enemy attacks, and if an attack lands, Crash summons his protector, Aku Aku, to take the hit knocking the opponent slightly back, functioning similarly to Incineroar's Revenge or Joker's Phantom Guard. When Aku Aku is active, the amount of damage and knockback Crash takes is reduced. However, after being hit, Aku Aku will vanish, so it can only work for one hit. However, this can be used up to three times. If you use it once, Aku Aku will vanish after one hit. If you use it twice, Aku Aku will vanish after two hits. And if you use it three times, Aku Aku is placed onto Crash's face and he uses a powerful spin counter that sends foes flying. However, you will instantly lose Aku Aku once the counter is finished. For Crash's final smash, he mounts his polar bear friend Polar and rushes into his foes. If caught in this attack, the foe will be transported into a lush jungle where a massive boulder comes barreling down towards them. If the opponent has 100% damage or higher, they will be instantly screen KO'd. On to the stage. Crash's stage would be, well, what else? The Wampa Islands. It's sort of a traveling stage like Skyloft or Woohoo Island that takes you to various areas from the three islands in the first Crash Bandicoot. Now for the fun part, the costumes. His default color would be his current appearance as seen in the Ensign Trilogy. His second color would give him light orange fur, yellow hair, light blue shorts, and pink shoes to resemble his sister Coco. His third color would give him yellow fur, black hair, and white shorts to resemble his arch enemy Dr. Neo Cortex. The fourth color would give him green fur, red hair, and gray shorts, sort of a hybrid between Embryo and Engine. The fifth color would give him dark orange fur and green shorts to resemble Tiny Tiger. The sixth color would give him blue fur and white shorts to resemble Riparu. This would most likely be the color that I would use. The seventh color gives him brown fur and beige shorts to resemble Dingo Dial, and his final color... You know what? Let's give him a fake Crash alt. That'd be pretty fun. Alright, let's get into spirit battles. There are a lot of ideas for Crash Bandicoot spirits, but here are some of the ones that I came up with. First up, we have the Legend Class Spirit, Cortex. Dr. Mario with a ray gun equipped. Foes are hard to launch, and you take sudden damage after a while. This isn't going to be an easy fight. Next, we have the Ace Class Spirit Coco, which is Isabel, and multiple crates appear throughout the battle. Next, we have an Ace Class Spirit, which is Engine, and that is portrayed by Wario with a giant rod to be, you know, his, the me various mechs that Engine uses throughout the series. Next, we have the Advanced Spirit Tiny Tiger, which is represented by a giant Incineroar. Next, we have another Advanced Class Spirit, Dingo Dial, which is portrayed by Bowser, who likes to spam neutral special. Next, we have a Novins class spirit, Riparu, which is portrayed by Sonic, with multiple blast boxes appearing throughout the battle. Next, we have another Novins spirit, Embryo, which is Luigi with a bomb bomb equipped, and once Luigi is defeated, a giant green Donkey Kong comes in to take his place, to be, you know, Embryo's second monster form. And finally, we have the Novins spirit, Entropy, which is portrayed by Samus, with multiple stopwatches appearing throughout the battle. Crash's classic mode route would be called Spin to Win, and in it you'll face opponents that resemble giant mutant animals, because that's a classic Crash Bandicoot trope, all leading up to a final battle with Master Hand. Now on to the music selection. This is something that I think is pretty interesting, because all of the remixes that I am about to mention, you have been hearing throughout the video. So, if Crash Bandicoot does get released in Smash Brothers, I will release all of the remixes that I made for this video. 
So, let's get into it. First up, we have a new remix of Insanity Beach. Then we'll have Tona bonus round, Papu Papu battle theme, a new remix of Hog Wild, Toxic Waste, a new remix of Slippery Climb, the Embryo battle, and those all the songs for Crash 1. Now for Crash 2, we have a new remix of the Warp Room theme, Snow Go, Hang 8, Crash Dash, the Ripperoo battle, and a new remix of Barrett. Now for Crash 3, we have a brand new remix of Time Twister, the Tiny Tiger battle, Hog Ride, Dingo Dial battle, and a Dr. Neo Cortex medley, which plays all three Cortex boss themes. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all the notes I have. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, what would you like to see if Crash Bandicoot got in Smash? Or did I hit the nail on the head for what you predicted? Or did you have something else in mind for some of his specials or spirits or music selection or whatever? Either way, this is what I personally would do if he gets in the game. But even if I don't get this, as long as I get Crash, I don't care. I, I, I just want him in. So thanks for watching. And here's hoping.